a battle in the borough. Welcome to sports. I'm Amy Zimmer. Georgia Southern hosting in-state foe Georgia State in a primetime Thursday night showdown. Panthers off to their best start in program history, entering 6-1. and one. Meanwhile, the Eagles sitting at 5-2, and two, one win away from becoming bowl eligible. An on-campus salute, former Georgia Southern head football coach Paul Johnson set to be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in December. First quarter, Eagles quarterback Davis Brin showing off the arm early, finds wide receiver Caleb Hood in stride, 7-0 Georgia Southern. Panthers strike right back. Quarterback Darren Granger trying to get the run game going, hand off to running back Marcus Carroll. However, Eagles MJ Stroud swallows him up. Georgia Southern up 10-7 entering the second quarter. Bryn pitches it back to running back Jalen White. How about the Eagles converting on fourth down and it pays off. 17-7 Georgia Southern. Yeah, the Eagles not done yet. A little over a minute before the half. Bryn over the middle to Marcus Sanders. Falls into the end zone for his second career touchdown. Georgia Southern grabs a 27-7 lead at the break. Eagles defense comes out strong in the third, and head coach Clay Helton likes what he sees. Tip ball. Georgia Southern's Mark Stampley comes away with the interception. Eagles don't take long to find the end zone again. Take a look at this next play. Third quarter still. Brenda Dalen Cobb. Turns on the Jets and stays on his feet. Cobb, 76 yards to the house, his first touchdown of the season, 34-7, Georgia Southern. Eagles go on to win 44-27, snapping their three-game losing streak to the Panthers, remain perfect at home, and become bowl eligible. And as I showed you at the beginning of the highlights, former Georgia Southern head coach Paul Johnson honored in five seasons with the Eagles. Johnson posted a 62-10 overall record, winning two NCAA Division I AA National Championships. Johnson will become Georgia Southern's third college football Hall of Fame inductee, joining quarterback Tracy Hamm and running back Adrian Peterson. I caught up with Coach Johnson ahead of kickoff on being back in Statesboro. We had some great games here and some great wins. And uh, I was trying to think, I think we actually won 28 or 29 in a row here at home during the span. So uh, a lot of great players, a lot of great memories. It's fun to be back. You're headed into the College Football Hall of Fame. How special is it to be here tonight and to have this honor? Well, it's really special. I think that when you start coaching, that's nothing, you know, you don't ever think about those kind of things. And then when I retired, uh, to be fortunate enough to go in on the first ballot it was something that I could have only dreamed of. And it's quite an honor, and it says a lot about the uh, people that I was surrounded around. Uh, you know, we had some great players and great coaches here, and it, as well as the Naval Academy and at Georgia Tech, too.